I'm Dr. Laura Shaheen. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, we're going to talk about when to stop your birth control when you're ready to get pregnant. I'm Dr. Laura Shaheen. I'm a reproductive endocrinologist helping people build families for years. And a common question is, Dr. Shaheen, I'm on contraception, but I'm ready to get pregnant soon. When should I stop? And I love answering this question because I want help people to have their family when they are ready. And the answer to this question absolutely depends on what type of birth control you are using. Some contraception could be stopped right away and you could get pregnant right away and others you should really plan ahead to figure out how long it might take for you to actually get pregnant after you stop that birth control so there's three types birth control that you can stop immediately and get pregnant birth control that it might take a couple of months to kind of start ovulating and sort of get your cycle and conceive. And then there are some that really do take a long time to get out of your system and plan for pregnancy. So the first type is the short acting kind of barrier methods, condoms and diaphragms. So the, these help you not get pregnant because it's not allowing the egg and sperm to find each other. And if you don't have fertilization, you're not going to get pregnant. Of course, these are not foolproof, but that is how these contraceptions work. So because it's not impacting your ability to ovulate or change your own menstrual cycle, if you're using barrier contraception, you should be having regular predictable menstrual cycles. That means you should be ovulating. And so whenever you are ready to get pregnant, you could stop using that contraceptive method like condoms and diaphragms or like spermicide or kind of barrier things. And you should be able to get pregnant right away. A little bit longer type of methods are some of the hormonal methods. So thinking about hormonal birth control pills, um, Nuva ring is a ring that has hormones in it that kind of gives you those hormones in a different way. IUDs are um, either copper IUDs or marine IUDs are in this kind of medium sort of might take one to two months to try to conceive after you stop them. It's just not the case for everyone. So let's start with um, hormonal contraception. Like the most common is birth control pills, but um, patches, birth control patches and Nuva ring kind of all fall into that. The way these contraceptive methods work is they prevent ovulation. So because the body is seeing estrogen and progesterone either in a pill form or in a patch or in a Nuva ring, which is a little kind of like a jelly bracelet and it's got the hormones in it and you actually place it in the vagina, uh, take it out for intercourse or take it out if you want to have a period. All of these methods are preventing ovulation because the body is seeing hormones from these methods and it makes the ovaries nice and quiet. So they're Unfortunately, you're not holding on to eggs. You don't get to preserve your fertility by not ovulating. We're constantly losing eggs, but the eggs are not getting to the point where they're mature and ovulating and only an ovulated egg that makes it into the fallopian tube to meet the sperm can cause a pregnancy. And so these hormonal methods will stop working when you stop taking them. Now, for some people, it can take one to three months for their body to start ovulating and having regular menstrual cycles again, but that's not always the case. There are definitely cases where people stop their hormonal contraception and even get pregnant before they have a period. How does that happen? Let me tell you. So um, when you stop the hormonal contraception, the first thing that happens is your body, the ovaries wake up and you ovulate. And if you don't get pregnant because you don't have intercourse around the time of ovulation, then two weeks after ovulation, you'll get a period. Um, but if you happen to ovulate and have unprotected intercourse um, and it happens to implant, you could absolutely get pregnant without even having a period after stopping hormonal contraception. So it might take one to three months, but it might not. So if you're like really counting on like not getting pregnant in, you know, September, well, don't stop hormonal contraception, you know, a couple months before, cause you think it, you, you need this like washout period. I've heard patients talk about, that's not true. It really could happen faster. Um, other contraception that I mentioned that kind of might take a month or two to kind of kick into gear is IUD. So there's two different main types of IUD, uh, copper IUD, 
um, and then hormonal IUDs, which have just progesterone, uh, Mirena or Skyla are the brand names. And the IUD works by having um, this little device inside the uterine cavity that makes it so the lining doesn't get thick, so the embryo doesn't have a place to implant, it thickens cervical mucus, um, it also might impair the ability of the sperm to get to the egg, but it's a very effective contraception. And when you are ready to get pregnant, you need to remove that intrauterine device. I recommend removing it with a healthcare provider. There are people that try to remove it themselves. I do not recommend that. And it's a very simple procedure to have it removed in the clinic kind of feels like a pelvic exam or a pap smear, place a little speculum, see the strings, um, the provider grabs it and the IUDs out. Sometimes it takes a month or two or three to kind of start to see regular menstrual cycles, but just like hormonal contraception, you could actually get pregnant before having a period because again, the first thing that happens is you ovulate. And if you ovulate, have unprotected intercourse and get pregnant, you could be pregnant without a period. So if you're not getting a period, you should make sure that you're not pregnant. Another medium length, contraceptive method is something called Nexplanon. It's actually a progesterone um, that's implanted in the arm. When you take that out, you often will ovulate pretty quickly and it might take one to three months to kind of get things back into regular cycles and regular ovulation, um, but it also could happen really quickly. The one contraceptive method that you really have to plan for is Depo-Provera. Depo-Provera is an intramuscular shot of progesterone that depo means it kind of stays in your system for a long time. You get a shot every three months and that progesterone, as long as it's in your system, will prevent ovulation, thicken cer cervical mucus, thin the endometrial lining. Um, it'll decrease your chances of getting pregnant. It's a very effective contraceptive method. And if you've taken it for a long period of time, like kind of getting it sort of every three months for a while, it can take months to get out of your system. It can take up to seven, even 10 months to start ovulating after you stop Depo-Provera. So that is a method that you're going to want to stop at least six months before you actually want to try to get pregnant um, and use a barrier method or some sort of um, second dairy contraception if you really don't want to get pregnant between stopping Depo-Provera and your goal of when you want to get pregnant. And so I hope this is helpful. You know, there's so many misconceptions around birth control and fertility. Birth control methods do not decrease your fertility. There are times where people kind of get off the birth control pills or stop a hormonal treatment, and then they're just not having regular periods, or they get diagnosed with PCOS, or they start having painful periods. Well, the birth control methods didn't cause these new symptoms. They don't cause PCOS. They don't cause endometriosis, but they can actually mask these things. So a lot of people will start birth control pills, you know, um, in high school in their young life because they're having irregular periods or painful periods. And, you know, there's a lot of providers that are just like, Hey, the best fix is to just go on birth control pills. It'll thin your lining shorten and lighten your periods, you'll have less pain. And then um, it kind of keeps hormones regular. So if you've got acne or like extra testosterone from PCOS, it kind of evens that out. So a lot of people are on birth control pills um, and then they keep using it as a contraceptive method. And then when they stop it, they kind of get these symptoms that come. And so I just really want to clarify that the birth control pills do not cause infertility, but they might mask symptoms that reveal something later. It's important if you are not getting pregnant within a reasonable amount of time after stopping your contraceptive method, then you should see a doctor like me. You should see a fertility specialist, a reproductive endocrinologist like me, see your OBGYN, see your primary care doctor, figure out why you're not getting your period, figure out why you're having painful periods after you stopped the birth control method, ask questions and advocate for your care. Um, most, you know, people will say, oh, try for at least a year when you're trying to conceive before you see a doctor and kind of get testing. And that's because about 80 to 85% of people will conceive within the first year of trying. But if it 
if it's not happening for you, if you're not having regular menstrual cycles, if you're not ovulating, you are gonna have a really difficult time getting pregnant. If you're having pain, be seen, get an evaluation. So don't you don't have to wait that full year. And then certainly if people are 35 years or older, especially the person with eggs, then you should not really wait more than six months to get evaluation because time is not on your side and it doesn't mean that you have to do fertility treatment, but getting that evaluation and making sure everything's okay can be really reassuring to make sure you are doing everything right. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for asking for this video. Like this video if you learned something, comment with questions that you have, subscribe to this channel and stick around for more learning.